All right, you guys, what's up? It is your boy Chaos, and today I have two forks here with me, and we have some pulled pork. Um, I was cooking this earlier today. It is very soft and tender and juicy, and you know I wrapped it up in aluminum foil, and I did. I had it in there for about two hours. So all I have to do now is put some barbecue sauce with it. Um, and then wrap it back up and put it in the oven. I'm just let you guys see what I'm using. Just using some slow simmered original barbecue sauce. So you know, I'm gonna put this in here. And if you guys are wondering what I'm using to prop my phone up with, it's a uh, absolute vodka liquor bottle it is the uh 750 milliliter uh i'm mostly a a clear drinker clear alcohol drinker but you know i you know slap some hennessy too probably some moonshine as well if i'm able to get across some but i have to be careful because it is balancing on top of the absolute and I'm over here doing this on my computer desk and you can tell you can actually hear it. you can actually hear how juicy it is I might have to get another or some more probably add a tiny bit of water into this and I'm put it back in the oven so it can, you know, cook and get some of the barbecue flavor into it as well, too. If you guys are looking what that tear is, that's just uh, when I was grating and breaking down the pork tenderloin. Because I had it wrapped up securely. First go around. Let me see if I can... Get the rest of this in there. Still a good bit in there. And try patting it down. And we got a good, good amount coming out. Yeah, I think that is probably the rest that we need to get all of it covered up and I'm just gonna wrap it back up with this same wrapper actually hold on just a second I'm gonna get a little bit of water Getting a tad bit of water when you get in your uh, barbecue sauce, the rest of it. It doesn't dilute the flavor of the barbecue sauce at all. And it actually helps uh, moisturize and uh, keep your meat from getting dry as well too. So if you guys want to try doing that, you guys can. I'm going to try mixing this in real quick first. Uh, I got my, t we got our tenderloin. Don't let me say I, we. Cause I do live with a family, you know, so we got our tenderloin from uh, Walmart. I mean, you guys may have meat markets where you guys get tenderloin from, but this was only in there for like two hours and it was able to cook down like this. The reason it was able to cook down to this degree is probably because it was wrapped around in aluminum foil and it insulated the heat and it boiled and cooked down into the pork as well. So just in case you guys haven't figured out how to cook tenderloin, you guys want to cook tenderloin, you guys can. I got some over here mixed up a little bit. And look, there's some barbecue sauce right in there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this on in here. See, look at that, see? It's not as thick as the barbecue sauce, but you still got the barbecue sauce flavor in there, you know, just a tiny bit of water. And this is the rest of it. So, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, probably have something else like this soon so you guys can see what I actually do. And I'll be probably posting a picture or short after it's done cooking. Thank you guys for tuning in on this, uh, you know, video of me just pulling around pork and talking about it and seeing me pouring barbecue sauce on it. Hopefully you guys can, you know, get your hands on some tenderloin. Make sure you guys hold it down like this and then break it apart like this. You want to break it like that, okay? And break it apart like that. It's pretty easy. But if you guys don't know, you guys can watch a video. If you guys don't, if you guys have a meat shredder, something like that, that can shred up meat. Try using that, you guys, if it's too complicated or you can't understand it. Or just ask, you know, your grandmother or your grandfather. They probably ate pulled pork for like a long time and know how to, you know, like break it apart and stuff like that. But it's pretty easy. Thank you guys for tuning in. You guys stay safe with yourselves at all times. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.